Hi there and welcome to week seven of the British Hen Welfare Trust Home School Activities. This week we're going to need your best chicken voice because this week's activity is called Jurassic Bark. So this week we're learning all about chickens incredible past and also about their distant cousins, the dinosaurs. So an amazing activity and loads of fun facts for you today. Okay, now what we think of as dinosaurs uh, became extinct around 65 million years ago with a mass extinction event. But did you know there are actually around 10,000 species of dinosaurs still alive today? And if you're lucky enough, you might see some in the background uh, on the feeders or floating about. And that is because these dinosaurs are what are known as birds, okay? So they are mini little dinosaurs. Now, all birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. So these are your dinosaurs like Spinosaurus and T-Rex here. Okay, so these dinosaurs, they had three toes on their feet, they had hollow bones uh, which were nice and light and strong and they also had, we now believe, feathers covering their body to keep them warm and also to help during displays, okay? So modern birds today, they also have those hollow bones to make sure they're nice and light for flight. They've still got their feathers to keep warm and display and also to help them fly. Um, and they also have those three toes on their feet. So if you see any birds outside, go and have a look and you'll get to see those similarities, okay? Now, how do we know that birds evolved from dinosaurs? Well, our understanding of that link changed as soon as we found this. Okay, this is a fossil of a dinosaur called Archaeopteryx. Now, Archaeopteryx was a small dinosaur, okay, it had, didn't have a beak, but it had a little jaw with lots of little teeth for eating insects, okay, it had some three toes on its feet, it had nice light bones, and it also had, you can see them, they're very faint, it also had feathers all over its body, almost like wings, okay? So we believe that this dinosaur, the Archaeopteryx, used those feathers to help it glide between trees in order to catch its prey. So it's an amazing little dinosaur and you can Google pictures of that as well to see what it might have looked like. You can definitely see the similarities between that and modern day birds. Okay, so when we discovered that fossil, that's when we found that almost missing link that changed our understanding of dinosaurs and birds. Okay, now our understanding between that link has grown over time and we've got even more information about dinosaurs and modern birds. Okay, and in the early 2000s, we actually discovered something really cool between dinosaurs and chickens. Okay, and to be precise, that dinosaur was a Tyrannosaurus rex. So in the early 2000s, we found a really well-preserved Tyrannosaurus leg bone that still had some proteins in it. So scientists used those proteins, they analysed it with, against loads of different animals, and it turns out that that Tyrannosaurus is more closely linked to a chicken than any other animal. So even closer related than an alligator, that came second, okay? And you can definitely see the similarities. If you have your own chickens at home, if you go watch them for an afternoon, you will definitely see the similarities between them and dinosaurs. They look like diddy dinosaurs just wandering around your garden. Okay, it's amazing to watch. So we actually have thousands of dinosaurs living amongst us. So go and see if you can find any mini dinosaurs today. Okay, and as well as that, your task today is to come up with as many similarities and differences as you can between chickens and the Tyrannosaurus rex. Okay, we've got a Venn diagram for you that you can use on the worksheet that's available. And what you can also do, we've got a second task for you today, is you can make your own dinosaur fossil. Okay, so you can use that using paint, you can be really creative and colourful. Okay, and we've got the instructions there for you as well. We'd love to see what you get up to so remember please send in your uh, work to us, we'd love to see them, okay? And we will have more amazing chicken activities next week for you, we're going to be doing some sporty activities so tune in next week for some more amazing chicken based activities. Thank you.